Hey guys, welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is pneumococcal vaccination CDC schedule 2012. That is the 2012. Before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel that is All on and Law and tell your friends to subscribe. Your subscription is very helpful for us. Okay, let me start with this discussion on pneumococcal vaccination. Recently, I uploaded a video on influenza vaccination schedule on uh, adults CDC 2012. CDC is nothing but uh, uh, is a center for disease control. Okay, so vaccinate all the person with the following indications: age 65 years and older without a history of uh, PPSV vaccination. Look at this indication: age, very important, 65 years. Whereas in influenza, any adult, any adult, adult younger than 65 years with chronic lung disease, including chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, and asthma, chronic cardiovascular diseases, diabetes mellitus, chronic liver diseases, alcoholism, cochlear implant, remember cochlear implant, cerebrospinal fluid leak, immunocompromising conditions, and a functional or anatomic asplenia. Uh, like a sickle cell disease, hemoglobinopathies, congenital or acquired asplenia and splenic dysfunction or splenectomy. If a lactosplenectomy is planned, vaccinate at least two weeks before the surgery. So these are the very two important points. What I want you to concentrate is the in USMLE examination, they give the history that the patient is, uh, uh, is, 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 is suffering from sickle cell anemia. Uh, which of the following vaccination you would give? Okay, so it's a pneumococcal, right? The other way they can put the question is the patient is uh, planned for a surgery because of uh, um, because uh, they want to remove the spleen. So, which of the following would be the best recommendation uh, before starting the surgery? So, what do you want to do? So, it's a remember about the vaccination two weeks before. Sometimes they can ask you the timing also two weeks, three weeks, five weeks, one month, one day. Okay. The other indications are residents of nursing homes and or a long-term care facilities, adults who smoke cigarettes, persons with asymptomatic or asymptomatic HIV infection should be vaccinated as soon as possible after the diagnosis. When cancer chemotherapy or other immunosuppressive therapy is being considered, the interval between vaccination and initiation of the immunosuppressive therapy should be at least two weeks. Vaccination during chemotherapy or radiation therapy should be avoided the routine use of pneumococcal vaccine is not recommended for american indians or alaska natives or other person younger than 65 years of age unless they have underlying medical conditions that are ppsv indications so if they are younger than 65 years and they don't have the medical conditions like chronic liver disease, asplenia, uh, there are so many drugs, cochlear implants, okay. So if they don't have, a, they are doing well, then no need of any indication for a PPSV. But any patients who are healthy above 65, go ahead with the vaccination, pneumococcal. However, that is 65 years, right? However, public health authorities may consider recommending PPSV for American Indians, Alaska natives who are living in the areas where the risk of invasive pneumococcal disease is increased so remember about this, this very important parts these are the 12, 2012 that is 2012 recommendations okay okay guys revaccination with ppsv when do you want to revaccinate the person one time revaccination five years after the first dose is recommended for a person's 19 to 64 years of age with a chronic renal failure or a nephrotic syndrome or a functional or anatomic asplenia and, a per or, and for a person with immunocompromising conditions you know immunocompromising conditions look at this one time revaccination five years whereas influenza is one year right persons who received ppsv before age 65 years from and for any indication should receive another dose of vaccine at the age of 65 years or later if at least five years have passed since the previous vaccine previous dose no further doses are needed for a person vaccinated with ppsv at or after the age of 65 years okay 
so these are the important points you should know about the pneumococcal vaccination guys thank you so much for watching my video take care and see you soon in the next video with me on mrcpcs team